गुड मॉर्निंग कालिया जी गुड मॉर्निंग जी गुड मॉर्निंग डॉक्टर फरीद हाउ आर यू फाइन सर थैंक यू and over the next uh, 90 minutes uh, we will be exploring the essential role of treasury management in banks financial well being key strategies for managing cash flow and so without much further ado i'll request uh, kalya sir to start his session over to kalya sir a uh, nice introduction that you have given to me i do not know whether i deserve all that or not but thanks a lot and uh, good morning to all the participants as uh, uh, stated by mr arvind mohan in his introductory remarks you will please all agree with me that treasury is one of the most important functions five grouping of asset three assets three grouping of assets that is investments cash and balances with rbi balances with banks and money at call and short notice these three grouping of assets are handled by the treasury of the banks and we as we can all understand that the profitability of the bank to a very very large extent depend upon how the treasury of a particular bank performs all right so integrity of treasury has become very very significant and important no first of all that kind of because we keep on hearing certain terms but we are not very familiar with that question that has to be done that is all done by what is known in the treasury departments as back office they will do risk monitoring risk measurement risk analysis on an ongoing basis securities so we will talk about which are slr securities and all that we will come one by one so this is of rbi act and then there is requirement of slr of uh, which is under banking regulation act which we are to provide which is currently at 18% and we will now talk about what is the kind of you know investment that have to be made by treasury under statutory liquidity ratio so what are the kind of you know right so that is issued by the central government and treasury bills currently are being issued is right Now we must understand that there is no coupon that is paid on treasury bills, and auction notice is given by Reserve Bank of India, and all these investments are made by the treasuries. Then, for a period less than ninety-one days, whatever is issued, all you know parameters are akin to treasury bills, but they are called cash management bills. Did you have to have a fund account and a SGL account with RBI for? Uh, participating in that particular, and there are certain identified institutions only which are permitted to participate in the in the process. That bid, of course, will be placed by the one of the primary members on behalf of the others. So that is how, which has to be ensured at all times by treasury of the bank. So that is one very important function is CRR and SL credible securities. Can they be held to maturity? Yes. because there are three type of classifications currently of course rbi is coming out with new set of guidelines but as of now there are right because this concept should be very clear why it is the difference between held for trading and uh, available for sale during right so how much can be kept under stm that's a different discussion we will not get into that that's a separate topic and in when the state government securities are issued whereas that is applicable available in central governments there are so many aspects if you are any one of you would be interested in understanding what is yield based auction yield based auction i am not getting into the nitty-gritty of all those because there are how this is settled how i mean all this every aspect of you know right from participation in auction to delivery what is dvp1 what is dvp2 what is dvp3 there are some concept which we should be familiar with because when you will get a opportunity you, these are the concept that keep on cropping up right what is a call option at least we should be aware about that a call option is an option which is exercised by always the issuer of the security only for the purpose of holding on 
as i told you they are also purchased for doing active trading of the banks there would be different variants of bond there will be zero coupon bonds inflation index bonds right and uh, there can be you know all kind of there would be strip securities which are available for central government security all these kind of you know issuances are there but when we are talking about non slr there are different types of bonds and debentures that are issued then they also invest in mutual fund units you would have seen i mean uh, when one of the very important is liquid funds lot of the investment there is a difference and at least i think we should be all aware about what is the difference between the bond and the debenture you know ultimately characteristics are the same but what is the major difference the major difference is okay so what i was explaining was that all such exposures which are taken by the treasury only for the purpose of you know market there is a capital market and there is a forex market so all these markets i mean in which banks normally operate they are all handled by or active participation in this market is from the treasury of the banks of you know money market instruments and uh, exchange bills you know, that is also part of the money market instruments range up to 1 year only right and mostly whenever we do you know those kind of repo transactions or or whatever earlier called as reverse repo transactions or currently called sdf facilities i mean these are also part of the money market instruments and you are all aware what was the difference between reverse repo because at that time whenever we used to deploy surplus funds deposit facility so now reserve bank of india when you deploy funds they do not transfer equivalent amount of securities and all our needs whether they are of derivative products whether that is for the foreign exchange requirements is being dealt with by the treasury and different kind of products are being offered depending upon the requirement of the and the underlying security that is available and uh, this uh, reverse repo or standing deposit facility transactions are carried out by the treasuries of the bank reverse repo variable repo you know auctions i am not getting into all those but these are all handled we must understand all these things are also handled by the treasury of the banks and since one of the topics is cash management we should understand how significant role that is played by gets excess cash that is what a some amount of cash has to be available at every branch to meet day to day requirements you know currency chests which are nothing but outlets of reserve bank of india or whatever gets deposited in currency chest of the banks and wherever we transfer to the other you know where currency chests are not there we may be uh, deploying them with sbi branches or wherever i mean that kind of resources that could have been deployed in some kind of investments that opportunity then gets lost so that is why and deploy them in a manner which would give you much better profitability than other ways all right that is the key advantage of having any integrated uh, treasury function and in that particular context as i mentioned i think probably at the beginning of my talk that arbitrage opportunities from the overseas market that uh, treasury tries to borrow from the overseas markets into indian rupees so what is the next step that has to be done when you borrow in dollars and convert it in indian rupees you are doing it because you want to deploy in indian market correct in the indian market and you can have much better you know earning to hold on to that strip suppose it is an hft would you continue to hold it on till but where there is a book profit limits and stop loss limits mitigation you suppose a trader decides that in case there is 
ten percent profit, you cannot continue to have too much of open position because whatever open position you keep, and that is why where the risk management function is very very important. Which I was talking one of the function when which I was mentioning was about the risk management also clear about what is the market risk. Market risk is the risk of uh, you know uh, impact or losses. So that is something that uh, we should be conscious of and the treasury has to definitely undertake all kind of risk mitigants in order to ensure that uh, this kind of situation doesn't happen. All your portfolio on a monthly basis and if it is AFS, it has to be done minimum at a quarterly interval. Very clearly understood. And uh, they have to be clearly measured and they have to be clearly mitigated by putting in place appropriate risk policies. Uh, understand and appreciate. Now there is one very important function that is done by the traders of the bank is uh, about the asset liability balance sheet management or asset liability management, even at the board level, all right? And why asset and liability is because you have to maintain, you have to monitor on a continuous basis your inflows and outflows in order to ensure that you are in a position to discharge all your obligations, particular format that has been prescribed which banks have to definitely monitor because, and I will tell you what is the significance of various buckets come out with some kind of significant amount of mismatches. See, some kind of mismatches would be always there. That is for the purpose of its systemic risk to your bank. So that is why particularly 1 to 14 days, 15 to 28 days, and 29 to 3 months cumulatively there is a, not a negative mismatch, all right? Because that can be very, very... So what kind of resources we have to raise? What kind of deployment of assets we have to do is also a function that is done by the treasury and that kind of guidance is provided. And the balance, balance sheet management as also in forex markets, that is also part of the functions of the treasury. treasury. So... Trade plays a very, very important, significant role in the profitability of the banks. It depends upon what kind of investments we are making, what kind of exposures, what is the kind of understanding of various markets which the traders and dealers have. So this is in some and brief, some 15 minutes I would like to leave for the purpose of any question answer because I have given very brief management and in case any one of you would like to have any discussion on any aspect of the trade, I would be more than happy to answer any question you have. By the time you are able to frame up your questions, I just wanted to tell you that our next webinar will be on Saturday. It will be as smooth as possible. Otherwise, in objectives of monetary policy cannot be achieved. Achieved. <laughs> we want that the you know, call money rate should remain within the limit. It should be as close to repo rate as possible. Thank you. So, so for the benefit of all the participants, I will say that uh, I'll be trying to make a summary of the today's discussion. That uh, the guidelines that have been issued by Reserve Bank of India on valuation of investments made by yeah. the treasury, I think one of the most I comprehensive set of guidelines, if I have come across is one issued by Reserve Bank of India. Then uh, the situation would not have been that much comfortable as it seems to be today. Right. right. So Mr. So, Surinder so, Kumar has a question. Boyji said, uh, SLR, even uh, in the name of SLR, there is no concept in the other than India. Yeah. Yeah. Nestability, right. liquidity <laughs> ratio only, that's why they introduced in the base already. Alternative investment fund, there is a minimum requirement I may be uh, corrected if I am wrong, that an investor can invest below one crore. So that is yeah. restricted to that kind of, you know, high net worth people who can afford to make that minimum 
investment. Of course, you have to deploy it, those funds in as per the mandate that you have come out with at the time of issuance of that particular. And uh, we come to end of this session. So I will be sending the recordings later on. Thank you. Thank you so much. Namaskar. Thank you.